Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Exodus 12 verses 21 to 28. And here's the word of God. Then Moses called all the elders of Israel and said to them, Go and select lambs for yourselves according to your clans and kill the Passover lamb. Take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin and touch the lintel and the two doorposts with the blood that is in the basin. None of you shall go out of the door of his house until the morning. For the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians and when he sees the blood of the lintel and on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to enter your house to strike you. You shall observe this right as a statute for you and for your sons forever. And when you come to the land that the Lord will give you as he has promised, you shall keep this service. And when your children say to you, what do you mean by this service? You shall say, it is a sacrifice of the Lord's Passover. For he passed over the houses of the people of Israel in Egypt, when he struck the Egyptians but spared our houses. And the people bowed their heads and worshipped. Then the people of Israel went and did so, as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron, so they did. Exodus 12, 21-28 Here's the poem I wrote inspired by those, I'm sorry, here's the commentary I wrote inspired by those verses. His soap and blood in the Lord's Passover. In this detailed instruction of God to the Israelites, we hear of his soap and blood mentioned. According to some commentary, his soap is a small bushy plant with minty leaves which can be used in cooking. The plant has also been used for medicinal purposes. In scripture, hyssop is a wild shrub used for purification as mentioned in Leviticus 14 verse 6 and Numbers 19 verses 6 and 18. Scripture says how hyssop was used as a sign of spiritual cleansing and uh, especially when David mentioned in Psalm 51 verse 7 when he said purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean and during that calm also said that in John 19 29 that the wine on the sponge that they gave to Jesus while he was on the cross was on a hyssop branch when they had it to his mouth Leviticus 17, 11, and 14 tells us the importance of blood to God. The life of a creature is in the blood, and God gave it to us so we can share, we can atone for, for our sins. To shed blood, a victim must be killed in place of the sinner. Blood is also used for covenant between two persons, uh, resulting in union or relationship. So we can understand why God required lambs that were unblemished, a year old and male. Reflection. What is the significance of spiritual cleansing in our Christian lives? Uh, if a Christian does not realize or does not remember that he is a sinner, and that he needs to be constantly cleansed by the blood of Christ and by uh, walking in the Spirit. It is so easy for us to just, uh, we automatically sin. It is in our nature. And the only way we can be able to uh, overcome sin and our flesh is by uh, recognizing that Jesus did the sacrifice on the cross so that we will be uh, cleansed from sin and freed from sin. On our own we cannot free ourselves from sin because we are not perfect unlike Jesus is. But it is sad to know that there are so many false religions 
and false teachings that say that um, we can help do something about our salvation, uh, which is totally false because only Jesus saves us. Nobody can save us but Him. So it's important for us to recognize, like in, in the Passover, we realize how God is separating His people from uh, the sinners from the world. Yeah, they're also sinners, but uh, the distinction is that He is able to give them a, a redemption through Jesus Christ. In, in the case of unbelievers, they do not have that hope and they do not have that assurance that they, even though they die, they will still be given eternal life, just as Jesus promised to those who love him and to those who believe in him. So I encourage you to um, reflect on the importance of the cleansing in our lives, the spiritual cleansing in our lives, because um, once uh, it's just like when we when we have uh, some stain in our clothes, we we would take it off and uh, clean it. We should also do that in terms of our spiritual life. That each time uh, we commit a sin, that we confess and repent of that sin and uh, do as much as we can not to commit the same sins over and over again because if you are of Christ if God has chosen you you will not make a habit of sin even though you're a sinner thanks for watching I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks photographs and a copy of this blog please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos give you the Word of God if you haven't already, check over 3,000 videos I've done in the years that I've been doing this daily. Thanks for watching. Uh, just type on Google search or YouTube search, Ilma's uh, Poem Devotional. Have a wonderful day.